Yeah, guys, I don't know. Uh, I tried to go to the tomb behind me. The, it's like a monument to commemorate, commemorate, those, commemorate those who passed away during the conflict here. But um, there are guys there like waving me off. So I'm guessing can't go there, which is OK. Uh, but let me let me show you the vibe. I think this might be kind of difficult situation. There's a lot of checkpoints, uh, a lot of security. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I get it because of the heightened risk of certain activity here. So I understand it. You gotta roll with the flow. So that's why when I film, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna be discreet. I'm gonna be super open, so nobody thinks like I'm a spy or anything like that. I'm gonna be very, very open. But for this first video, I'm just getting the vibe. Uh, it's my first day exploring, first day out. Everything you see is new to me as well. And I'm just gonna walk straight. There's some other sites. I'm gonna see if I can go there. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Let me cross this street. Let me head over here. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, guys. I asked the security guard if I could take a picture of this. He said, "Yeah." I didn't do no. I didn't do any research on this because I, I didn't know this was here. All right. I was just told I can go inside and or come inside the premises and check this out yeah like i was just stating uh i didn't do any research on this so i don't know what this uh stands for um man as i'm walking there's like a checkpoint every three or four blocks and i still haven't even done the proper intro yet so i'm gonna walk a little bit farther down and hopefully try to take clips in and out of you know the checkpoints this this city is uh tied up it's very tied up i'm trying to let me uh, turn it around. I'm trying to get some uh, some clips, some street views, uh, walking views, but uh, might be a little difficult. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll work around it though. But all right, guys, think we're good. Let me do the intro right here. I'm here in Mogadishu, Mogadishu, Somalia, the capital of this country. Uh, man, it's been a been a long time coming. I know most of you guys when you hear the word Somalia. And I'm not gonna lie, me as well. You know you think of conflict, pirates, at least for me, I think of sambusas, which are these fried snacks, and then obviously uh, beautiful Somali women. So that's what comes to mind for me. So that's why I'm here to see if I can, you know, dig a little deeper into some of the cultural aspects of this country. And we'll see, it might be a little tough. But uh, I'll try it out. So this is basically just gonna turn into a uh, a walking video. It's basically gonna turn into a walking video. Show you some of the scenes. The I don't know. I think they clean shoes over here. I think this is okay. Fruits. Hey, you want to see? Hey, you, you guys speak uh, English? Oh, you speak English? Yes. Oh, man, can you tell me something about uh, Somali, your country? Yes. Oh, what do you sell? Yes, sir. Yeah. Somali. Mango. Oh, okay, it's mango, okay. And then what is uh, this? Manguala. Manguala? Mambu. Yeah, Mambu? Kenya, like Kenya. Oh, Kenya? Mm. Okay. Oh no, okay. Ma papaya. Papaya. Ma mangu dadu. Mambu. Oh, it says from Kenya. I've never seen this before. Yes, yes. This is Kenya. Okay, it's Kenya. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, local fruits and yeah, I never seen this before. This is this is uh, from South Africa. Okay. Oh, it's from South Africa. It's apples. Apples, yes. What's, what's from uh, Somali? Yes. Somali? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Nice. And then what's, what's this? Uh, I know, I know yes. this is Somali. Somalia. Somalia and then this? Oh, okay. Okay. There goes the flag. Okay. Nice. This is Somali. Yeah, and that's Somali right there. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. Nice. Welcome, welcome, brother. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Mahetani. Thank you. 
Okay, those were the, some of the fruits. I'm gonna walk on the side with the sun so the view's better. Everyone's on the left side because the shade's there, but my camera doesn't do well in, in low lighting. It doesn't do well in low lighting, so I'm gonna stay on this side. It might seem a little desolate, but just know everyone's on the left side. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Somalis. Back home in Seattle, at least among the Africans, there were three groups that I was around a lot. Uh, Ethiopians, Eritreans, and Somalis. So that's one reason why I wanted to come here, because I've already been to Ethiopia, I've been to Eritrea, and some of the Somali people back home say, you gotta hit up Somalia. I wanted to go a couple years ago, it wasn't the right timing, so decided to take my shot right now, and here I am. Nice, let me go left side, got a lot of dudes over there. And this is like the, uh, uh, the business market. Give me one second, got some military personnel up ahead. Quick update, I went into a travel agency office to ask them, hey, how come I wasn't able to um, take pictures of certain monuments? He basically said, because you're a foreigner. Discrimination, guys. He was saying, you know, because of security issues, you're a foreigner and, you know, they don't know who you are. If I was there with a Somali guide or Somali, basically Somali guys, Somali tourism industry, so, uh, Somali company, I would have been A-OK. -okay. Because I tried to go into two places, the theater and I tried to go to the monument. But they said, basically, nah, not having it. And some people may say, hey, why don't you, some people may say, hey, why don't you, you know, hire a guy. Well, that's not really, this is not my style, guys. Uh, I do it every now and then in certain videos, especially when it comes to food videos, so they can explain about the different foods and the history behind it, but it's just not my style. Not my style to have a guide, and as you guys see, I walk a lot. A lot of people can't really keep up with me. And I like to be on the streets, the sights, the sounds, the noise, sometimes the smell, sometimes not. And so that's why guides usually, well, you guys get the point. I just like doing my own thing, but I may, I may opt for a guide for the next one, we'll see. But for right now, I'm solo. But so far, uh, like I said, it's been a, just a chill walking video. You know, I'm the hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. People are still out doing their thing. Still doing a whole bunch of things, so. And if you're not familiar, if you're not used to walking around with people with guns, if you're from Texas, you'll probably, you know, be just fine. But uh, if you're not from Texas, you're not used to people having weapons and guns and stuff, then yeah, this might be a difficult, difficult situation. Let me make this right real quick. Something I have to check out. Bam. You guys, don't judge me. This way. Uh, yeah, there we go. Do you guys like bubble tea? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, um, I like to get tips from the people from the country. So he's gonna tell us a few things about Somalia. Just tell us anything, anything you want. Yeah, welcome to Somalia. My name is called Sadiq. I am the owner of this bubble tea shop. It's called Sabran. Yeah, welcome to Somalia. You can come here freely, it's safer. Yeah. 
Now, um, I was asking you earlier a few things to do in uh, Mogadishu. What are a few things to do? Yeah, there are a lot of things you can do here. You can go to a beach, so you can, you can have a lot of uh, different foods. Uh, you can try like some boots, uh, you can try jello. There are some really popular uh, uh, thing called otka. Uh, otka? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> like uh, a meat, uh, common meat. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, otka, okay. They cut into smaller pieces. Okay. Yeah. Eat it with rice and stuff? Eat it with angelo. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have this malawa, you can call malawa. You can, you can try it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what, what's your favorite food? Like my favorite food is uh, Angelo. <laughs> okay, Angelo. I don't know what that is either. I'll look yeah. it up. You should try it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, here goes the spot. Good stuff. We got an extra one to go. I was told that, and shout out to the Kenyans, man. I was told that spot was the owner is a uh, damn. He didn't, I don't know if he said the owner. No, he said the Kenyans built it. That spot. So I don't know if he. I think he said he was the owner. I don't remember. But he said Kenyans built the spot. So shout out to the Kenyans. Everyone here thinks I'm Kenyan. So everyone here. Hold on. Let me fix this camera. Yeah, everyone here thinks I'm I'm Kenyan. <laughs> That's the first thing they ask me, Kenyan. That's because there are a lot of them here, and uh, he was saying that East Africa, they can come here, I think, without a visa, so they come here and uh, open up shop, open up businesses. So yeah, I met a lot of Kenyans. Let me, uh, damn, I'm stuck. Oh no, it's okay. Let me go this way. All right, guys, give me, let me get through this. All right, one second.